Hi Booktube, it's Nikki here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to bring you a video that I've not tried before. Now, in the summer I identified a few books which I thought I might want to unhaul. So I took inspiration from Emily from Novel Novels where she tries a chapter um, of the book to decide whether she wants to keep it or unhaul it. So I thought I would combine this with doing some vlogging around Singapore because several of you have asked me about living in Singapore. So today that is what you're going to see. I've actually got quite a lot of footage so I'm going to split this into two videos. Um, you'll get part two in a few weeks time. Um, today I'm going to take you to Little India Fort Canning and Botanic Gardens here in Singapore. Um, what I did was I took one or two books with me each time I went and filmed, um, then found a cafe and wrote the first chapter of the book. So at the end of this video, I will give you my feedback about whether I decided to keep these books or unhaul them. So I hope you will enjoy and I will come back to you at the end of the video. Hi, so today I'm going to try a chapter of Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. Now I gave Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn five stars but um, recently I read Dark Places and I didn't like that one at all so we will see. Today I am in Little India um, area of Singapore so I should take you around this wonderful part of Singapore too. Hi, so today I've brought you to Fort Canning Park. Now behind me you can see this historical building. This fort was actually built in 1860 and remained a military base until about 1970. Um, the British used it as a military base in World War II and um, until the Japanese um, came and occupied Singapore and took it over. Um, I think I mentioned this area in um, The Railway Man by Eric Lomax, which I read um, a few months ago. So today I'm going to sit here in the beautiful park. Lots of people are sat around um, just absolutely relaxing and enjoying the warm weather because it's over 30 degrees. The sun is out and um, so they're all just enjoying family time. And I'm going to read um, the first chapter of two books today. So the first one is Ordinary People by Diana Evans. Now, this was long listed for the Booker Prize a few years ago, and um, it's about two couples in modern day who I think are having a few difficulties. And um, one has recently been bereaved, and the other is, I think as well, um, struggling with fertility, and there are parenting issues and identity issues, and how looking at how couples change as you get older. I'm a little bit nervous about it, because I suspect there might be an affair in it which is not something that I enjoy reading about so I'm going to read the first chapter and see what I feel about it. And the second book I'm going to read the first chapter of is this one All He Ever Wanted by Anita Shreve. Now it's been a while since I've read Anita Shreve. Um, many years ago I read The Pilot's Wife and Fortune's Rock. Um, another one I think it was Light on Snow and I've always enjoyed her writing. Um, on Goodreads though, this one does not get good ratings. Um, it seems to be about a couple who meet 
um, due to a hotel fire and I think they get married and it looks and I think it's the um, the guy Nicholas looking back about their courtship as he calls it and um, their marriage and maybe the good parts and the bad parts um, so it, perhaps it's a very quiet novel which is why it's not getting um, so much buzz so um, yeah I'm gonna read both of those and see what I think so you can see this wonderful old building here and it is set in the most beautiful grounds. If I pan round, so many people are here just chilling out in 30 degrees heat, I should say, but beautifully kept lawns. It goes right the way round and into the distance. see there are so many beautiful plants in this little area of the garden right beside the fort. Beautiful. This area is called the Artisan's Garden. It's very peaceful and there are lots of little places to sit so I'll be sitting and reading my book in there in a moment. This is another area of the park. Oh, that breeze is lovely. Oh, it's so hot and humid today. So here's the fort gate. Amazing to think of them marching through there. And this is the hotel Fort Canning where my husband and I were very fortunate to stay for a night and it's absolutely beautiful in there as you can imagine all old style beautiful staircases and the rooms are all got that sense of history attached to them which is quite unusual for here in Singapore where everything's so many things have been modernized yeah wonderful wonderful place to stay while we're here, I just wanted to also show you this lovely building, which is the National Museum of Singapore, because it is tucked right behind Fort Canning Park. We're right near Orchard Road here as well, but look at that gorgeous building. Stunning. Hi, so today I've brought you to my favorite place in Singapore, and that is the Botanic Gardens. Um, Honestly, this place is so huge that I could probably do a vlog for like an hour, two hours. But today I'm going to try and find you lots of little areas of it. There are lots of pockets within the botanic gardens, like there's the ginger garden, there's the orchid garden, there's the children's garden, the evolution garden. There's loads and loads here. At the moment, I am just sat on a huge expanse of um, grass. But even here, there is so much activity going on people are uh, there's an exercise class going on behind me over there there's families playing frisbee dogs being walked it's just wonderful so um i'm going to show you parts of this wonderful place but um the two books which i have brought today i'm going to go and find because there's loads of wonderful little places to sit and read and quiet and a lot of people are doing that actually they're all chilling out um so the books that i have brought today to look at are So this first one is The Icarus Girl by Helen Oyemi. I'm going to put it down because I'm supposed to have my mask on. Um, yes, this one is about a little eight-year-old girl who, um, she has an English father and a Nigerian mother and she's quite reclusive. Um, but then she gets taken to the Nigerian compound um, with, from her mother and she meets another little girl and I think it starts to get a little bit dark. So I'm really interested. It seems, 
yeah, a little bit dark and gothic, perhaps this one. Um, I have heard mixed things about Helen Oyemi's um, work, a little bit unusual, and I think that she was only 17 years old when she wrote this one. So um, we will see what I think on the first chapter. Now, the second book I'm going to read a chapter of today is this one, The Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Now, as I've mentioned before on my channel, um, I do have a little bit of a mixed reaction with YA and this is YA fantasy. Um, I really would like to get into more fantasy and I have seen this one having really good reviews on Goodreads so I'm really intrigued. It's about a world divided by blood, red blood or silver blood. It appears that the red Reds are um, more the commoners and um, living more in po more poverty state and the silver are the elite. And I think it involves a girl who finds out that she has some powers. And I think the, the silvers are becoming a little bit fearful of her. Um, it says this is reds against silvers, prince against prince and mare against her own heart. So that sounds really intriguing. So I'm going to give that one a go and see what I think. So let's go and explore more of Botanic Gardens. The monitor lizards have been out as well. So I've managed already to get some um, footage of them and I'm hoping to show you um, lots more areas. So let's go. Come on, look at it go. Here come the otters. Here they are. Yes. Where they gone? Oh! <laughs> they're there! Oh, we're getting all the wildlife today. And this beautiful lake is called Swan Lake. And if I pan around here, you see they've built actually a statue of the swans there. Let's see if I can catch some actual swans on the lake shortly. And there they are, the swans. <laughs> and there they are, two swans out on Swan Lake. So what you can see there in the distance is actually um, what they call the symphony um, orchestra. And this is where they have live music performances. I won't go too close because unfortunately they are doing some work down there and they're gonna get the noise of the drills. But you can see how beautiful these trees are. And this is in this big, vast green area where um, people sit, when there's a concert on, people sit out in the open air. Like it's absolutely full of people here. A beautiful, beautiful setting. There are so many different areas of the Botanic Gardens which are so quiet and calm and there's another little area there where people are sitting. It's just so peaceful. 
So what did I think of these books? So I'm going to tell you about the ones which I'm going to unhaul first of all. And the first of those is Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. I loved Gone Girl, but I did not like um, Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. Um, reading the first chapter, this was just a little bit too not gritty, but a little bit, um, a little bit crass and got the impression this was going to be quite dark and a couple of people whose um, opinions I trust said that they didn't like it at all. So I um, haven't seen the TV series about um, people say that that is quite good, but I know that people say it's dark as well. So I'm not feeling the vibe at all to pick this one up. So I'm going to definitely unhaul that one. Now, the next one I'm going to unhaul is Ordinary People by Diana Evans. Now, this was long listed for the Women's Prize for Fiction um, a few years back. And it's all right. Reading the first chapter was was not too bad. Um, it's very contemporary, very London, very dinner party circle. And um, to be honest with you, I'm a little bit over reading that type of book of pretentious you know what are we all what are we having for dinner parties what kind of wine prosecco etc are we are we ordering and um and quite frankly relationships which are going wrong and i'm presuming even from this picture you couldn't quite pick it up from the first chapter but i'm presuming there's going to be some crossovers of relationships here which um is not my jam at all so yeah i'm going to um i'm going to unhaul that one as well and the last one I'm going to unhaul is All He Ever Wanted by Anita Shreve. Now, I read a lot of Anita Shreve way back and I thought this one would be um, would be good. So I go back to her work and see what I think. Um, it's a very quiet novel and reading the first chapter, um, it's, it's a man reflecting back on their, their uh, marriage and how he met his wife. And the writing seemed quite good, but... I could tell from reading just one chapter that it's going to be three stars and that's one of the things I've tried to say to myself this year I want to read better I don't want to read sort of meh um, books I want to try and read um, books which I know are going to be four or five stars so yeah I'm just I'm not going to um, start this one so I'm going to give that one away as well so the first one I decided to keep was Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Power is a dangerous game, it says on the front. Now, you will know this is not usually my jam. This is YA fantasy. It's a genre I think I will like, um, but I don't want to get into a long series of adult fantasy. So I think YA fantasy is quite accessible um, for me. I've read a couple of Lainey Taylors in the past and really enjoyed those. Yeah, and reading the first chapter, I was really invested, actually. Um... This is a world divided by blood, a red or silver, the red of the commoners and the ruled by a silver elite um, class. So, yeah, I I was actually quite gripped. So I'm looking forward to reading this one and hopefully it will be quite a quick read and will um, get me a bit more into fantasy this year. So definitely I'm going to keep this one. The other one I'm going to keep is The Icarus Girl by Helen Oyemi. Now, she is an interesting author. I've never read her work before. Um, she is from Nigeria and, you know, you do hear mixed reviews about her work. They, it seems to be quite unusual, shall we say. Um, this, interestingly, is a book that she wrote when she was um, studying for her A-level. So she was only like about 18 years old. Um, but I liked it. I wrote the first chapter and I was drawn in to the writing and wanted to know more about this girl, Jess, and why she's hiding in cupboards and what that is all about. Um, so yeah, I thought the writing was gonna be a little bit more obscure, but it wasn't. I was like drawn in straight away. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video a little bit different today, um, talking about these five books and seeing around Singapore. Please comment down below about any of the five books or about the areas of Singapore. And as I said at the beginning, I will come to you with another um, vlogging unhaul video in a few weeks time in different areas of Singapore. Um, please take care and I will see you again soon. Bye.